Your steadfast love stands to the heaven. Your faithfulness, your faithfulness reaches to the clouds. Your righteousness is like majestic mountain. Welcome everybody tonight. The power of God is here. We welcome you to this special service tonight. Prophetic service Monday extra. And we're not going to get uh, take a lot of time. We're going to go straight into, into uh, what it is that the Lord has brought us to do tonight. I have an assignment for you. And I'm believing God that that assignment will be accomplished tonight. So you can welcome everybody that can be welcomed tonight in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. This is the day that the Lord has made that we should rejoice <clears throat> and be glad in it. From the rising of the sun, the sun is declared to the setting down of the same and we are on the setting down of that same sun. And so would you open up your mouth and just get ready? If you can't be able to minimize your destruction, the Spirit of the Lord does never, has never loved destruction. Never. He has never loved destruction. He becomes the center of attention. The Bible declared he is a jealous God. And, and so he's a spirit. But the Spirit of God is a gentle spirit. And the Spirit of God, because he's a gentle spirit, he does not uh, push his own agenda. He does not push his own agenda. And if you find out that there is silence and the Spirit of God used to 
talk to you and he does no longer speak to you is because he's a gentleman, he's silent. He comes where he's celebrated, not where he's tolerated. So welcome tonight. Let us worship God. A few minutes and then we get into uh, what has brought us tonight. Hallelujah. Blessed be thy holy name. I have made you too small in mine eyes, O oh Lord, forgive me, I have believed in the lie that you are unable to help me, but now, O oh Lord, I see my wrong. Heal my heart and show yourself strong. And in my heart and with my soul, O oh Lord, be magnified. Come on in tonight, yeah. Be magnified. Begin to share, begin to share, and invite as many as possible. Be magnified, O oh Lord. You are highly exalted. And there is nothing you can do, O oh, oh Lord. I know. Magnified, oh, oh Lord, be magnified. I am a so cabarada. I have lead on the wisdom of men, oh Lord, forgive me. responded to them instead of your love and your mercy tonight but now oh Lord, I see my wrong when you open up your mouth and worship heal my heart and show yourself strong yes and in my heart and with my soul Oh dear God, be magnified. Oh, oh, oh Lord, be magnified. Hey, open up your mouth, everybody. Be magnified. Oh Lord, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're so highly exalted. Oh, and there is nothing, nothing you can do. My God, dear Lord, I yes, oh, be magnified. Oh, Lord, be magnified. Oh, be magnified. Be magnified. Worship him tonight. Just come in and dive deep. Oh, 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 oh. be magnified. Oh Lord, be magnified. Hey, be magnified, oh Lord. Magnified, oh Lord. Be magnified, oh Lord. We thank you, Father, for tonight. Come on in, everybody. Come on in, everybody. Begin to worship him. 
is a prophetic service so you come with your faith and come with expectation open up your heart to the edicts of Elohim tonight in the name of Jesus thank you spirit of God blessed be thy holy name Mikosili bi ila barantos komaga dai Febebebe godoza lia barantes kilia ba Sula franosa lia man Worship him, get out of your distraction If you can be able to sit and concentrate Just sit and concentrate if you can Hallelujah This is the air I breathe This is the air I breathe, yes. Holy presence living in me. This is my daily bread, yeah. You are my daily bread, oh. Your very word, oh, oh my, spoken to me tonight. Glory to God. Oh, and I let it be the cry of your heart. Would you open up your mouth and tell him, and I lost without you, yeah. Monday morning, Monday evening, Monday night, yes. Lost without you, my God. Thank you, Father. This is the air I breathe. You are the air I breathe tonight, yes. It is your very presence. The holy presence, oh, living in me tonight, oh God. And you are my daily bread, says, says. You are my daily bread, oh my, yes, yes. It is your very word, oh. Be spoken tonight. Come on in and just begin to worship. Don't get distracted. Don't get distracted. Enough. I am. Oh, yes. And I. Oh, God is getting ready to do a new thing. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes. Oh, when I, I am crying out to the Father, crying out to the Lord, I, I am desperate for you tonight, yes. One more time, and I, Shati Kapasola Barana, Lirebekos Kadidibi in a Kandolia Bana. Hey, I'm lost without you. I am desperate for you. Can do nothing without you, Lord. I am lost without you, God. Yeah. Many others have others' refuges. I don't have a refuge. You are my refuge. Open up your mouth and talk to God. Desperate for you. You're the solid rock on which I stand. Yeah. You're my hiding place. You're my sunshine in the rain. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I am. Lost, I'm lost without you, Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm lost, I'm lost without you, God, yeah. I'm lost without you. 
Shade Kapasola. Oh, I'm desperate for you. Glory to God. Oh, I'm desperate for you. Can nobody do me like Jesus? Nobody do me like Jesus. Would you open up your mouth and just talk to him? Honestly seek him. Honestly desire him tonight. Honestly look for him tonight. Posture yourself together in the place of worship. Posture yourself in the heart of worship. Let him draw you nigh. Songs of songs, songs of Solomon, he said, Draw me and I shall come running after thee. Yes, Lord. Draw me close to you. Never let me go. Never let me go. Never let me go. I lay it all down again. Down again. To hear you say that I am your friend. Oh, Lord. You're my desire. Oh, nobody else will do, yes. Nobody else will do. Nothing will take. Take your place, take your place. Not even one day to feel the warmth of your embrace. Even tonight, even tonight. Help me find the way You bring me back to you Oh, yeah Hallelujah You're all I want You're all I ever needed You're all When you open up your mouth and just worship him however you can, in your own way, give him the praise, give him the worship tonight. Never let me go, never let me go, yes. I lay down on again, down again, down again to hear you sing. I want to hear you say that I am your friend. Oh yes, you are my desire. No one else will do, yes. No one else will do. Cause nothing will ever take your place, oh God. Right in my heart, yes. Feel the warmth, feel the warmth tonight of your embrace. Hallelujah. Help me when I'm lost to find the way. You better bring me back to you tonight. Oh, 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 oh. everybody, you're all I want. You're all I want, yeah. Matasilia, you're all I ever wanted and I ever needed, yeah. You're all I want You better help me know One more time everybody You're all I want You're all I want You're all I ever needed I ever needed you're all I want Lord, I'm desperate for you tonight 
from the rising of the sun to the going down of the sand. Help me know you are new when I'm lost without you, God. Bring me back to you tonight. Help me know, help me know, help me know tonight. You better help me know you are near. Help me know you are near. Amen and amen. Father, we thank you for tonight. We welcome each and every one of them that have come to Mount Zion tonight. We are desperate for you, O oh God. We want to hear from you today. We want to touch your grace tonight. How we live for this moment when we're still in your presence. Though the noise dies down, Lord, speak to us now. You have heard our attention. We're gonna linger and listen. We can't miss a thing. And Lord, I know my heart wants more of you. My heart wants something new. So I surrender all. All I want is to live within your love. To be undone by who you are. I am desperate for your touch of him. All I want. Throw my caution unto the wind. I am desperate for your touch of heaven. Oh, would you open up your mouth? And tell him you're the fire in the morning. You're the cool in the evening. Yes, Lord, we are desperate to touch you tonight. You're the fire in the morning. You're the cool in the evening. The beat of my heart. Wind in my life. No hesitation. I will linger and listen, can miss a thing. Lord, I know my heart wants more of you. My heart wants something new tonight for I. So I surrender all I want, Lord. Katasha de Salamala. To be undone by who you are. I am desperate for your touch. I don't know what brought you tonight. I don't know what it is that you believe in God for. I don't know what it is that brought you. Maybe it might be a need. But God is seeking worshipers. He's seeking worshipers. That can forget their need. That can forget their issue. And just prostrate before him. He's been a good God. Oh, 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 oh. Do what only you can tonight. Do what only you can tonight. Oh. I open up my heart. I open up my heart. To you now, do what only you can. Jesus, have your way in me now. Open up, I open up my heart to you, to you, to you, oh God. I open up my heart to you. What only you can. The power of God is healing someone. The grace of God is landing on someone. Yeah, oh, I open up my heart to you now. I open up my heart to you now. Do 
what only you can tonight. Do what only you can tonight. Do what only you can tonight, Jesus. Have your way in me now. Open up your mouth and concentrate and put a demand tonight. Put a demand tonight. Put a demand tonight. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. We cry out to the God of heaven. Hey. Oh, oh. All I want tonight is to live within your love. To be undone by who you are. Hey. All I want tonight, I'd better throw my caution into the wind. Yeah, I am desperate for a touch of heaven. Oh, 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 desperate for a touch tonight. Hallelujah. We give you praise tonight. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh. Fall afresh tonight. Fall afresh tonight. Fall afresh tonight. Thank you, Father. Blessed be thy holy name. 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 Father, we thank you for tonight. We bring this congregation before you and this service. Speak to us tonight. Let the presence of the Lord overshadow men and women wherever they are now. Glorify Jesus. Spirit of the living God. Have your way tonight. We are desperate for your touch. Nothing can we do, O oh God, when we come to Mount Zion. We move when you move. We speak when you speak. We prophesy when we're inspired by the Holy Ghost. We come, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Even unto Mount Zion tonight. We gather, O oh God. Limaso baras kenemendole vinis kemelia. Barazuda vas kenegeden kabagado. Barusis keven kamana. Ela masuna selevenia, subres kedagi amkina manalo, ababantes kina tos kololia, egeberos kobron katalia varan elebedo, peskuna mandele venosa. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Spirit of the Living God. Hallelujah. I know you know it. Lift it up, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we love you. Ezekiel 37 from verse 1. This is a chapter and a verse you know. That's where my assignment is. I'm not going to read the whole of it. The hand of the Lord was upon me and he carried me in the spirit of the Lord. The hand of the Lord was upon me and he carried me out in the spirit of the Lord. And he set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones. And he caused me to pass by them round about. 
And behold, there were very many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry. And he caused me to pass by them round about, as if to see fully the extent of the dryness and the damage, and the kind of situation that the bones had gone through. And behold, there were very many, number one, in that open valley. There were very many, and they were in the open valley. And lo, they were very dry. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord, thou knowest. And again he said unto me, Son of man, prophesy upon these bones and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear ye the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live, and I will lay sinews upon you, and I will bring up flesh upon you, and cover you with skin and breath, and put breath in you. And ye shall live, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. Verse 7, Ezekiel 37. And so I was, so I prophesied, as I was commanded. And as I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, a shaking. And the bones came together, born to his bone. And when I beheld, lo, the sinews, and the flesh came upon them, and the skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. Verse 9, Then said he unto me, Prophesy unto the wind, Prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, Thus saith the Lord God, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon this slain, that they may live. Verse 10, here comes. So I prophesied as I was commanded. So I prophesied as he commanded me. And the breath came unto them. And they lived and stood up upon their feet. An exceeding great army. So I prophesied as he commanded me. And the breath came into them. And they lived and they stood up upon their feet, an exceeding great army. Lord, make the pen in my mouth to be a pen of a ready writer. To write, O oh God, the edicts and the ordinances of heaven tonight in the hearts of men. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And the hand of the Lord was upon me. And carried me out in the spirit of the Lord. And set me down in the midst of the valley. Which was full of bones. The valley was full of bones. The hand of the Lord took the prophet in the vision of God. And he took his spirit. And he began to show him the condition of a nation. He began to show him the condition of a family. He began to show him the condition of, a, of, a, of an individual. He began to show him the condition of a, a community. He set, him, he set him up in the midst of the valley which was full of dry bones. And then the Bible declared and he caused the prophet, the spirit of the prophet, not to see one sided, not to see on the right, not to see on the left. But the Bible declared he caused him to pass round about them. Round about them. And so in the vision, he began to see the condition, not one-sided, but the condition of the bones, as exactly as they were. And the Bible declared, behold, they were, number one, very many. They were very many in the open valley. They were not covered, they were not buried. There was no a significant burial right that was condition or that was given to this kind of a people. There were many and there were bones of people. 
There were never bones of animals. There were bones of, the, of, 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 of men, of human beings. And notice, they were very dry. This was a condition of a nation. It was a metaphor. It was a vision depicting the condition of a nation, of a people, of a community, of a family member, of a father, of a husband, of a wife, of a daughter, of a cousin, whoever it is that was represented here. That entirety of bones that were super dry were representative or representation of the condition of men. I'd like you to hear me in the spirit tonight. Life is spiritual. And as a matter of fact, I should add tonight, all life is spiritual. All life. And life is controlled from the periphery of the realm of the spirit. And life in that realm is not peripheral. It is in this realm that life somewhat looks like it is peripheral. But all life is spiritual. And the condition of man in the, in the dimension of life as we know it as the earth. Where we live, where we move, where we go and find our food, where we go to the supermarket or go to work and go to the office and whatever. Whatsoever it is that we are doing or not doing is as a result of another world somewhere else that is controlling the edict the happenings, the happenstance are not even just by fate, but it is choreographed in every human being's life that there is a spirit in man and the voice of God gives him inspiration. That there is a spirit in man and the voice of God and that the breath of the Almighty gives him inspiration and that there is a spirit in man there is a spirit in man and the breath of the almighty will have to give him inspiration the enemy has succeeded in making the people and the and the church even and the uh, uh, and kingdom people rather to sit back and to be able never to recognize that life is controlled not by faith, not by, uh, uh, by hope, not by this realm, but another realm. And that realm is the realm of the spirit. Many are living their life by faith, living their life as almost like there is a thermostat in their life. Someone else is controlling them. They have never woken up to understand. That their life has been controlled by some spirit, by some other world. And they are busy going round about their life and going into full circle of their birthday after birthday. And, and uh, 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 going morning till evening. The Bible declared, eating the bread of sorrow. And they've never come to understand. That the breath of the Almighty gives the man inspiration. But that there is a spirit in man. There is the spirit in man. And that the breath of the Almighty has to give him inspiration. There are many who have left. Set out to business. Set out to marriage. Set out to a relationship. Set out to school. Set out in life without the inspiration, the breath of the Almighty, never breath. And life has become dry like you're about to witness in this scripture. And so he sent out the prophet in the vision of the Lord, plucked him out, out of his body, put him in a vision of the Lord and expressly began to show him the valley of dry bones. And the reason for that is because of the entirety of a family, of a community, of a nation was at the at the behest uh, of, of the breath and of the prophecy that this man of God, the prophet Ezekiel, should be able to come and to breathe the breath of the prophetic into dry bones. Life was dried up in many people's lives and they died in that valley. The Bible declared 
it was an open valley. Sounds like life. So sounds like uh, the highway of life. Sounds like uh, uh, the marketplace where souls are getting treaded. Where life gets treaded. It was in an open valley. Open valley. They were very dry. When the Bible says very, it indeed means very dry. They were super dry. And then he said to, to him, Son of man, can these bones live? Notice carefully. He said unto him, unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? When a monarch, the father of all spirits, when uh, 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 an immortal begins to ask a question as it regards life to a mortal man, he is not looking for an answer. There is something else that he is trying to say. But if you are not sensitive in the spirit, matured in the spirit, you can never be able to understand the answer to the very question that an immortal spirit is asking. Can these bones live? Notice, a bone or bones represent structure. Bones give structure to the body. Bones give structure to animals. Bones represent structure and order. And that is why you have 40-something bones in the body. Other animals have 30-something, 20-something, depending on how large or how small. But they are all structured. There is never a femur that looks like a, a bone that came out of another animal. All are joint to joint, bone to bone. They are all structured in a particular way by the creativity and the meticulous uh, hand of God to bring structure. Yet the Lord in this situation is asking, can these bones live? Can that structure hold? Can that kind of order hold? Can that marriage hold? Can the relationship live again? Can the company be resuscitated in the same order? Can it come back? to the same place and to the same structure it was. Uh, if the foundations be shaken, the Bible says, what will the righteous do? If the foundations, if the bonds be shaken, if the structure be shaken, what will the righteous do? Masukapari ila maskuna manda mezuvaradi ila maanakashkatelia can this structure hold? Many are watching me tonight. And many have been shaken to the core by COVID-19. What will the righteous do when the foundations be shaken? When your faith has been shaken? When money has been shaken out of your hand? Finances, the coffers, and the reliance that you've been having. Can these type of dryness, this type of sickness, this type of condition, this type of uh, being broke, busted and disgusted, shut out from the corridors of life. Nobody is knowing you now. Everybody used to connect with you when you had it. Everyone used to know your family when you got, when your family used to have it. And now, in an open valley, every structure has been shaken the way it should be shaken. And they are all dead up and dry. Could I be speaking to a community of people tonight? That you're looking back and you're looking forward. Looking on the side, looking on the other side like Job. And the Bible declared, I looked for him on my side. Didn't find him. I looked on my other side. Didn't find him. And I sought for him. And I couldn't find him. Dry places. The Bible declared when a devil, when a demon is cast out, Jesus speaking, when a demon is cast out of a person, he goes out and about to dry places, to dry places.
to dry. He don't come to wet places. He don't come. He don't go to where uh, uh, where rain is because that distracts his kind of a uh, habitat. He's not where there is rain. It is not where there is production. He goes to dry places when a demon is sent out and cast out of a person. He looks for a dry place. They were in an open valley. And, below, and, and behold, they were very dry. And it was a mighty, mighty people. But they fell again. They fell. It, these were the people who are living. This was children of Israel. These was men of God. These were women of God. These were children with potentials. This was a company with potential. These were men given uh, to potentials of life. Something should have come out of their life. But they died in the valley. In an open valley. In the sphere, in the rat race of life. Chasing after a dream. They died there. They died there. Could I be speaking to people? That are dead spiritually. Dead spiritually. Dead. Their dream is dead. You've shut it out of your diary. You've actually crossed uh, 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 the dream that was there. You've cut down. You've cut yourself down to size. And you're no longer dreaming. There is no more. There is no more oomph for life. You're in a dry place. You're in a dry place. He said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? I said earlier when a mortal, when an immortal is asking a question as it regards immortality, he ain't looking for an answer. No, he's looking for conformity. He's looking for alignment. I'll repeat that again. It's going to help someone. When an immortal is asking a mortal the question of life, he ain't looking for an answer. He's looking for, an, for, for alignment. He's looking for conformity. That is what he's looking for. Can these bones live? Can this life live again? Can the relationship work? Can, can the children now go back uh, to school again? Can the provision be found? Can, can the marriage hold? Can, 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 can the marriage be, be uh, can the possibility to be married open? Can after 37 years and after 40 years and after 50 years and after being barren all this year, Sarah, your womb is about to get open again. And she laughed outside of the tent. Laughed outside of the tent. And the Bible declared, the prophet said, O oh Lord God, thou knowest. Very interesting answer. Son of man, can these bones live? He didn't say yes. He didn't say no. He said, you, God, no. The reason why he said that was because the dimension of the kind of dilapidation that he was seeing, the kind of dryness, the impossibility of these bones coming alive again was too much for the prophet. And so he equated and retorted back the answer back to God in the sovereignty of your name, in the sovereignty of your creativity, in the sovereignty of your power, in the sovereignty of your ruler. Uh, your car, your, the Bible declared your seat. The Bible declared the, that God sits in the seat and in his seat is justice and equity. And he can fit in the heavens, can fit on the earth. So the earth becomes his footstool and the heavens becomes his tabernacle. And it is in, it is in his sovereignty that the man of God decided to bring back the answer in your sovereignty. Thou knowest. Hear me and hear me well. When you have no answer for the question of life, when you've got no answer for the question of the pain, for the answer, uh, for, uh, for the question of that pain and the trepidation that you're having around life, when you're broke, busted, and sunk deep into debt, and problems after problems, issues of life that are beyond your intellect, beyond your degree, beyond your family connection or the lack of it, beyond your money or the lack of it, when you have that, 
when you come to that place when there is an abundance of issues and you can't be able to handle none of it all you need to do tonight is to claim up and come up hither and begin to to decree the sovereignty the sovereignty of his of his majesty the sovereignty of his power the sovereignty of god oh lord god thou knowest oh lord god thou knowest some 139 the bible declared thou art acquainted with all my rising up and my going down you are acquainted with my rising up and my going down to rest thou art acquainted the bible declared all the days that are fashioned for me were written in thy book yet when they were none of them and he said marvelous are your works all that's the sovereignty of god marvelous are your works oh lord and my soul knows it very well what does your soul know tonight i ask the question what does your soul know know tonight the sovereignty of god the sovereignty of god when you have no answer for the question of life incline your heart to the sovereignty of god oh lord thou hast searched me and you have known me thou knowest my sin my down sitting and mine up rising you are stand you understand my thoughts afar off thou has a compassed me yes you have compassed my path my line down and you are acquainted with all my ways for there is not a word in my tongue but lord oh god thou knowest it altogether psalms familiar the prophet said oh lord thou knowest the psalmist declared you are acquainted with all of my ways there is not a word in my mouth but lord thou knowest it altogether God might be knowing some people tonight by complaints because he knows the word in your mouth is ever complaining. God might be knowing someone tonight ah, by trepidation and fear because that is what comes out of your mouth. Proverbs 18 should be 21 and 22. The Bible declared death and life is in the power of the tongue. Not in the power of your mind. Not in the power of your, of your intellect. It is in the power of your tongue. What does God know you about? Because he knows every word in your mouth altogether. He could be that he has a record in the heavens that he has been writing your complaint and your and your and your pride and your and your and your and your fear and that is what is coming out of your mouth. Thou knowest it altogether. Son of man can these bones live? Thou knowest. The psalm is declared thou hast beset me to uh, 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 behind and before you've laid your hand upon me such knowledge is too high for me I cannot comprehend it I cannot be able to know it I cannot attain to it where shall I go from thy presence where can that issue go from the presence of God where can that issue about delay uh, where can that issue go to what is it that is on your face that you keep on prodding that is on, on your face uh, and it is making a God uh, out of itself? What is it that is on your presence? What is it that has made a God by itself? Is it that situation? Is it that marriage? Is it money issues? Is it business? What is it that is standing before you? Where can it flee from the presence of God? Where? Thou knowest it all together. You are acquainted with all of my ways. Can someone open up your mouth and just tell the Lord, I know you are acquainted with all of my ways, with all of my days, and all the days that were fashioned for me, even 2020, in the days of the of 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 pandemic in the days in the midst of COVID-19 in the midst of pain and sorrow in the midst of tribulation in the midst of darkness you are acquainted with all my ways you are acquainted with all my days and the Bible declares all the days that are fashioned for me 
were written in thy book. I came to encourage someone tonight that there is nothing that is happening to your life now that God is not acquainted with. Ain't nothing that is happening now that was not written in his book. He is acquainted with all of your tribulation. He is acquainted with all of your questions. Such knowledge, the psalmist declared, is too high for me. I cannot attain it. Akatale barados kamande, gubande legebe sulavara zelemi atale. Son of man, can this situation still be uh, uh, saved? Can can this company resurrect? Can can this marriage come about? Come alive? Can the wedding go on in the midst of the pandemic and uh, in the midst of being fired and given a sacking letter and uh, and and uh, and uh, and, uh, and, uh, and a regret letter? Can this life work again? In the midst of my sorrow, it's because you've limited the Holy One of Israel. All many people know, even in the kingdom of God, they look in the face of interest. Everyone looks very holy. I'm going to repeat that again. In the face of interest, everyone looks very faithful. In the face of interest, everybody looks like they have faith. Until you're put in the valley of dry bones. Until life puts you in the valley of dry bones. Until jobs are ended and, and, and COVID-19 has shown up and, and situations in marriage, you're being tossed to and fro. What do you do when pain has come and they have not given you a notice and they have not given you an SMS? There was no WhatsApp message that I am coming to scatter that, that job and scatter your peace and, and scatter the marriage and put you in pain. What do you do? What do you do? When everything is, everything is going down well, salaries are coming in, promotions are coming in, no more pain and sorrow, and, and it looks like we are in heaven, right on earth. Before that comes, the enemy usually shows up, and he will put you through the, the psalm is declared in this way, Psalm 23, yeah, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Where was the prophet put in the valley of dry bones? Where did the psalmist see said, even though I walk through the, the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. I fear no evil. I fear no sucking. I fear no one getting fired. I fear no business going down. I fear I will not fear. I will. Would you open up your mouth and just say, I will not fear. I won't fear. Cause me to pass by them round about. And behold, there were very many in an open field. In the suckers of life, there were many that fell. In the suckers of life, there were many that fell by the wayside. Like the seed that Jesus planted fell on the wayside fell on the thorn and many a galva galva put themselves together they they try to chase after the dream they fell on the valley of life time 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 did everything they could they fell on the valley the man of god is put up in the spirit cool come collected and the sight of it he couldn't have any breath to prophesy anything he took the hand of god and he said unto him prophesy now upon these bones and say unto them I came tonight to let someone begin to speak I came to free your tongue I came to free your faith I came to free your mind I came to free your faith he said prophesy and say he didn't say prophesy and sing he didn't say prophesy and think he didn't say intellectualize the whole proposition of the prophetic no he said prophesy and say Asi kabarato shalamana imboski mandele kepeskuda dabai. Oh ye dry bones, hear ye the word of the Lord. He could be been hearing. It's been hearing the sound of confusion. He's been hearing the sound of trepidation. He could be hearing the sound of regret and fear that has been coming out of many people's lips. 
That is what the dry bones in people's family. That is why the issue has not been going anywhere. But he introduced a technology. He said, hear ye the word of the Lord. Hear ye the, it's not me speaking. It ain't my word, no. It ain't my intellect and my, intellect and my intellectual capacity. No, I am bringing to the issue the word of the Lord. I am bringing to the marriage. I am bringing to the impossibility. I am bringing to the la the equation that is not balancing. I am bringing to the lack of education. I am bringing to the lack of this and that. I'm bringing the deficit. The deficit that has been there. I'm going to add to it. I'm going to put an equation. And the end of it is the word of the Lord. Oh, ye dry bones. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Could be that you've been speaking. And you've not been speaking the word of the Lord. Could be that you've been speaking, sir. Could be that you've been handling it, as we say. It could be outside of the word of God. Introduced tonight. Hear ye the word of the Lord. For I have lifted and have raised my word above my name, saith the Lord. Thy word is sharper than any two-edged sword. It pierces the soul, Hebrews. It pierces the soul. The contents and the intent of the heart of men are laid bare by the word of God. Is the word of the Lord not a sword? Is the word of the Lord not a thunder and a hammer? The Bible declared in the book should be Jeremiah. And the Bible declared the word of the Lord has been shut up in my bones. It's like fire. Is the word of the Lord not like fire? It is the refiner's fire. The entrance of thy word bringeth light and it gives understanding to the simple. Could it be that his word has not been the lamb and the light unto your path? That you've been using your connection, using your muscle, trying all you can, your beauty. Trying to be married by beauty is a fallacy. Trying to run a business with intellect is a fallacy. I came tonight all the way from Nairobi, Kenya. For those of you watching from abroad, to introduce to you the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord is higher. It's higher than sugar diabetes. Higher than pressure, HIV. Higher than COVID-19. What is a virus? What is a virus before the word of the Lord? We have put a pedestal on many low things and we've put low things to be high things. And every high thing that is exalted has to come down has to come down. John the Baptist declared and he said the axe has been laid on the root of the tree and everything that my father did not plant I will cut it off. I came to challenge your faith tonight. I came to bring you up hither to the place of innermost and outward expression of faith. What is a virus? What is school fees? What is rent? What is building a project and finishing it? What is a master's degree and clearing it? What is the school balance that is her school fees balance? What is it about a car that is before the word of the law? Matakaso paradalia, shading kabanos kabaradilia. Would you open up your mouth and just pray for half a second or half a minute in the spirit? Zaman katosh kemen kadilia man semendolo voroski bigidilia paruski bakatale keneka siman kadon keden kalia maana semendos kumbrandos kividi iliga. Here is the word of the law. You better speak to that situation. Here is the word of the law. He has lifted up his word above his name. Someone tonight, you've got to locate the word of the Lord concerning your future, concerning the issue, concerning the depression, concerning the panic. Concentrate on the word. Find what is it that God said about the peace of mind. He said he will keep him in perfect peace. Whose mind is stayed on you. He will keep him in perfect peace. Whose mind is not stayed on the issue. No, stayed on him. Him, him, God. So you're bombarded because your mind is staying on the issue. And you've not located the word in the book of Isaiah. That he will keep you in perfect peace because your mind is stayed on him. They look 
upon him. They look to him and they were and, and, and they were radiant. They looked up to him and they were never ashamed. Their face was right. What are you looking up to? What is it that you've been concentrating in? Because what is it that you've been paying? Whatever it is that you've been paying attention to. What you've been watching. What is it that you've been looking for a long time? Has christened exactly who you really is right now. Bible declared, Paul declared it this way. And he said, we all in a glass. We all as in a glass. We behold him. We behold him. And as we behold him, we are changed to that very same image. Mm. That's the problem with the Pentecostal church. And it is the problem with the evangelical church. And it is the problem with the saved church. And it is the problem with the holy church. Sitting up, beholding the wrong thing. Sitting up, watching us in a glass, their issue. Watching the depression. Watching the need. And all they have is kumbaya. And a little tongue here. And have no faith whatsoever. Can't be able to look up to God. They looked up to him. And they were radiant. Matasula alabashai. Ebras kutaleya masania. That is a message for someone. Oh ye dry bones. Hear ye the word of the Lord. I didn't bring a report. I didn't bring an economic survey. Don't hear the, the, the economic survey of how dry it is and, and, and how the weather has beaten and dilapidated the dry and the valleys and there is no rain and it's predicted that the rains will come at a such a quarter and uh, uh, by reason of the weatherman, uh, uh, the, the, the optics are looking like this, describing the issue in detail, never having come to the place of describing the power of God over their lives is the issue. This is the church in a dry place. And it stands to reason therefore that men and women have to wake up and begin to prophesy. Men and women begin to wake up and say to the dry bones, notice the Lord didn't speak nothing. Notice the Spirit of God never spoke a word except to give an instruction to the body, to the church, to the prophet of God. Speak to the bones, speak to the bones. Prophesy, prophesy. We all as in a glass. We all as in a glass. Behold him. Behold him. What is it that you're beholding? What is it that you're beholding? Behold him. Behold him. As in a glass. And we are changed to that very same image. Say the Lord verse 5. Fast say the Lord. That is of the word of God. That was the word. I am bringing and I am causing a breath to come and to enter and you shall leave. And I will lay signs upon you and bring flesh upon you. Whatever it is that was dried up is getting ready to be covered. Whatever it is that you lost in that valley of life, in the highway of life that has looked like a dry bone and it looks like clotted, the blood has clotted in the inside of the bone. It has become so white that you can't read the DNA inside. You can't do any carbon dating on the on the on the bone. It has become so dry in a high in a valley of life. Behold, I am bringing. I am bringing the breath of the Almighty. The Bible declared that there is a spirit in man in the book of Job, and the breath of the Almighty gives him inspiration. I will cause breath to enter. I will cause bread to enter. I will cause bread to enter into that situation. And you shall leave again. And so I prophesied as I was commanded. Would you open up your mouth and begin to prophesy? Talk to the situation. Talk to the issue. Talk to the children that are in your womb. Talk to those who are alive and awake. Talk to the issue at the bank. Speak now. Open up your mouth. Prophesy to the issue of the house. To the building project. Prophesy to employment. Speak to the atmosphere. Command the ravens. Command the ravens. Command the ravens. 
I prophesied as I was commanded. And as I was. Shamande Lekotai. God is waiting for people uh, to get out of their trepidation. To get out of their mediocrity. To get out of sitting down in the aisle of waiting on the Lord. And begin to prophesy. And as I was doing. And as I was writing the, the, the dream, the vision. And as I was registering the company. And as I was praying and fasting. And as I was waiting on the Lord. And as I was writing the vision down. And as I was, and as I was, and as I was. And as I was prophesying. And as I was working the vision. And as I was writing the proposal. And as I was doing something. Faith is not passive. Faith is active. Yes, the economy of faith does not call you into laziness. The economy of faith does not call lazy men. Faith is not a call up to laziness. Laziness is a spirit that wants to forfeit destiny by making sure you don't end up in the avenue of faith any day, any time. Did you get that? Yes, ma'am. So as I was, doing the as I was applying and as I was beginning the business and as I was selling and as I was working in the name that is above every other name I speak to every person that is on their way to the whatever marketplace whatever mountain of vision that God has given you to air to enter into whatever thing that you are doing with the work of your hands with your intellect with your hand and as you are doing, and as you are doing, I decree and declare, let there be a noise, let there be a shaking, let there be a shaking, let there be a shaking, let there be noise, let there be a shaking, let there be, shaking. Let there be noise, let things begin to come together, let bones begin to join together, let structure come to your vision, let structure come to your health, let structure come to your vision. Let there be shaking and noise. Born to born. Structure to structure. Order to order. In the name of Jesus. None shall break their rank. None shall break their rank. They came together. But there still there was no breath. And then as if God has no breath to breathe. He still sent the prophet on an errand. That is why you cannot never get tired of prophesying and speaking to your condition. Masses of the Lord are new every morning. They are new every morning. There is always a fresh word that can come out of your mouth every morning. Every evening. Every afternoon. There was no breath, and yet the flesh had come upon the bones. But there was no breath to make them come alive, to stand on their feet. There was no structure, numa, there was no life, zoe, to make the dead and to make the flesh that has come upon the bone to begin to rise and to become a tower for that vision to be seen again. For life to express itself again. For you to recover all. There needs to be a Zoe. A word. A spoken word. A current word. The breath of the Almighty. And as if God would not have done it himself. It's not that he wouldn't. It's not that he wouldn't. He said again, son of man, it is you to prophesy. I have given you the authority. I have given you the power. Most of you are waiting for many people to lay hands and many other prophets to speak and apostles to speak. And you're sitting in this kind of teaching and this kind of radical power in this kind of corrosive atmosphere. And you're waiting. And you're still waiting. Instead of prophesying, the Bible declared, he said to the son of man, prophesy to unto the wind so you can speak to the wind. 
you can prophesy to the wind. He said, say to the wind, thus saith the Lord God, come forth, O ye four winds, bring forth my favor, bring forth my vision. Destiny help us from the four corners of Kenya, from the four corners of Africa, from the four corners of the U.S. of A, from Canada, from everywhere, you prophesy. forth oh breath and breathe upon these bones breathe upon this marriage breathe upon this situation and let it live I speak life now I speak life to my child I speak life to this confusion in the company I speak life now to every dead situation in my life I speak life to my situation and so I prophesy as I was commanded. And the breath came from the four corners. Not from heaven. It didn't come from heaven. It came from the four corners of the dimension of man. On the earth. And they lived. And stood up on their feet. Someone tonight. Your situation is about to bow. And your vision is getting ready to stand up on its feet. That company is going to stand up. On, that marriage is going to stand up. That wedding is going to stand up. And it was an exceeding great army. And it was an exceeding great army. I heard the Bible say the other day the stone which the builders have rejected has become the chief cornerstone. Yes, yes, yes. And the, the psalm is declared it this way. The psalm is declared it this way. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord has done something good. He has done something good to them. That is why they are happy. When the Lord brought back the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dreamed. And our mouths were filled with laughter. It is, the psalmist declared again, of the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. It is marvelous in our sight. It is marvelous in the company. It is marvelous on the haters. It is marvelous in the family. It is. It is it's going to be marvelous. Why? An exceeding great army is going to stand up right out of the situation. Samson, in the book of Judges, began to put out a parable and he said out of the eater came something sweet to eat I prophesy to men and women watching me tonight out of the eater the situation that has been eating you up it don't matter whether it is financial relationship marital whatever it is that has been eating on the inside of you out of it something good is gonna come out of it out of the eater shall come something sweet to eat that enemy is going to bow because all of a sudden, a great and a mighty army is going to resurrect out of the dead. Those who have written you off, they better plan again. Ah, because you're going to show up and show out. You're going to show, that bone is going to back to the bone. Vision, back to vision. Yes, script, back to script. Business, back to business. Everything that was disoriented and disconnected and dis disenfranchised and that didn't look like it's going to work again. I came all the way to tell you tonight, he's about to get together. He is about to get to Asia Patalia. He is about to get together. He is about to get together. An exceeding mighty army. Hear me? An exceeding mighty You're not going to finish small. No, sir. No, ma'am. You're not going to begin small and end small. I refuse any smallness. I come against the spirit of small. You're not going to end up small. No, sir. Who has despised the days of small beginnings? He didn't say who has despised the ending. No. It's the beginnings that are small. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So that the power will be of God and not of you. That the glory will be of God and not of you. The beginning. But thy latter end shall be exceedingly great. But thy latter end shall be. Who has seen the house, the former house, the book of Haggai? Who has seen the former house, the temple before? But I will shake the heavens 
then I will shake the earth and the desire of the nation shall come and he says the latter glory the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former open up your mouth wherever you are and talk to God begin to prophesy now begin to prophesy now begin to prophesy now the anointing is there where you are the power of God is locating people now prophesy to the condition speak to the issue whoever has written you off they better they better put a plan together because you are about to get out you are about to show out you are about to come back there is a come back anointing that is gonna visit men and women in these last days before the close of the year and you are about to show up you are about to show out in a different glory there is a garment that is of praise that is gonna be clothed on people yes the heaviness and the burden is getting lifted the glory of the former of the latter house shall be greater get yourself together prophesy to yourself say ye o ye earth hear ye the word of the lord because you are made of earth o ye earth hear ye the word of the lord you shall be married on time you shall have children on time you shall be successful on time. You shall have wealth on time. You shall be wealthy. I refuse you to be small. I refuse you to be average. I refuse you to be poor. I come out of darkness. Here I step into the marvelous light of the word of the Lord. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Get a word out of your mouth. Get a word out of the word of the Lord. Life is coming back to people. Life is coming back to people's faith. Whoever has trodden you down, whatsoever has treaded you down, that has suffocated your faith, that you have no expression of interest for life or godliness, that has thwarted and forfeited even the many things and the blessing of God that is about to come to you. Tonight we bury it. Tonight it comes to an end. Tonight it comes to an end. Tonight you arise and shine. For thy light is come. You arise and shine. For thy light is come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you tonight. Deep darkness shall cover. Darkness shall cover the earth. Deep darkness the people. But ye shall arise. But ye shall arise. Kings shall come to the brightness. Of thy shining. Of thy light. There are men and women watching me tonight. They're going to be Hezebah and Beulah. The ox of righteousness. The word of the Lord is going to come out of your mouth. And in your father's house, you are about to rewrite the history of dry bones. And they will come back again to live. You are the shining armor in that your father's house. You are the hope of that your father's house. You are the hope in that lineage. And you are coming out of dry bones now. You are coming out of that valley. You are coming out of suicide. You are coming out of depression. You are coming out of confusion. You are coming out of laziness. You are coming out of lack of identity. Pray now. Speak to God in faith. Zemene, I speak life to this atmosphere. I speak life through the through the screen to where you are. And I decree and declare life now. In the name of Jesus. Saga baran dele ketelia. Akumpa tasko mongo dolia barado. Selege beres kuda didi bikana namai. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. 
Akatoselemenania. Anonga brandos kubrogodoshke bregadehe. Lagabaras kudadi gabas kunavai. Ela mandala garantos komon kotolia. Jegedege beregados kobronka. Ika brandulu guduske bededidia. Ila manana van tos kunale bara. Zimindiske megedo. Some of you have got to move past the heart. You've got to move past past the heart. You've got to move past past the hurting in the name that is above every other name you've got to move you've got to move yes you've got to move you've got to move you've got to move out of the place the bible declared and jabez cried out to the lord he said my mother bore me in pain but i'm not gonna leave on the treadmark of the past i'm not gonna leave on the treadmark of pain i'm not gonna leave on the treadmark of sorrow ah you are you are you are left on the street so are many you are an orphan, so are many. Uh, something happened to you, so it did happen to many others. What is it that you are doing about the situation? Are you sticking up uh, in that pain and in that sorrow and being held back by the shackles of the, of the past? And many are coming out of that yoke. Many are pressing on. Paul declared, I press towards the higher calling. I press what the can these bones live I incline to the sovereignty of God I'm not gonna sit back having been abused and sit back there in tears and sorrow and and truncate the vision of God and truncate possibilities of life and, and cast my own life with my own words playing the victim I cast out the spirit of the victim I command victimization to come out of people's of God's people tonight in the name of Jesus, I open you up to transformation. I open you up to the spirit of transformation. In the mighty name of the Lord. In the mighty name of the Lord. The spirit of the Lord is telling me there are yokes of the past that are getting broken now. Yokes of the past. Yokes that have sat on many people's neck and tying you to the past. Tying you to childhood traumas. Katashadia maana lega barasko taliga baske vegonta ki makantonia kata zebebebe bereskuma ala katalia. Pray, everyone. Do your homework and pray. Do your homework and prophesy. This service is not for spiritual lethargy. It's not for spiritual uh, 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 laziness. You've got to speak something to God. Kadilia barada. Press into the Holy Ghost like the woman with the issue of blood. If only I could touch. If only I could touch. If only I could touch. And the basso gabaratalia. Arabazaka toshka baradalia. Ekebege dodon kodon kebegede. Baras talika paradalia dada. Segedegedege shadam patasko. I am sick and tired of being sick and tired. Ah, can these bones leave you? No. But I'm getting ready to prophesy. As I am commanded, I prophesy to the village. I command the issue to be resolved as it regards the land, as it regards the marriage, as it regards my possibility. I speak to my life. Oh, us, hear ye the word of the Lord. Talk to God. La Katoshe Biana, Andasu Kaliba, Brasku Paratalia, Yekete Shadababata. What you don't stand against has a right to remain. What you don't address, what you don't confront has a right to remain. It has a right to remain there. What you don't confront has a right to remain there. You've got to face your life and face the mirror and speak to you and speak to the checkbook and speak to your possibility and speak to the paperwork and speak to the transcript stand in that office speak a word to God command oh this shaky quiet and cold Christian believer sitting up in a place of oppression and trying to talk to God as if God is very far away is religious God has put a tongue in your mouth for you to command the 
dimensions of life here on earth. Death and life is in the power of the tongue. They that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. You've got to locate the word of God and speak that word of God over the situation. It's not about blabbering. It's not grammar, ma'am. It's not grammar, sir. It's not word that you conjured up. No. Locate the word of God. Locate it. Locate the rhema. Locate the rhema. Speak it to the atmosphere. That is why the ministry of the word is powerful because it is under the ministry of the word that the spirit of God will come and brood. Many who hate uh, the word of God and, and would like to go to ministry and would like to go to mi miracles and the prophetic, they have no idea that the anchor is the word of God. The ministry of the spoken word, the rhema, the min while yet Peter spake, the Holy Ghost fell. Not while Peter did a miracle. Not while Peter prophet. No. While Peter spake the ministry of the word. It brought about the prophetic. It brought about the stirring up of the waters. That is why we teach how we teach. That is why we speak how we speak. Before the breath of the Almighty comes. He said let there be. Because he spoke. And the spirit of God entered. And it enlightened, lighted upon the word that God had spoken. Thank you, Father. Blessed be thy holy name. Akadali Abaranus Kanamanda. There is someone here you went for a visa application. Sometimes in January this year. And it was denied. You are here. You went for a visa application application as it were interview and it was denied you and you have not left yet and then COVID happened if you are here you are supposed to travel and and you went for an interview in an embassy and you are not successful this year 2020 I am looking for you right now I am looking for you right now Makato Shalabarantes I am looking for you right now. I am looking for you right now. The person who went for an interview at an embassy and it was never successful. I shall have what I decree Yes, I believe, yes, I believe. It, belongs to me. it belongs to me. I shall have, I shall have what I decree. I decree. Yes, I believe, yes, I believe. it belongs to me. So I'm gonna speak into the atmosphere. Yeah. Speak into the atmosphere. Yeah. Yes, I shall have. What is it that I did? Yes, I believe, yes, I believe. It, belongs to me. it belongs to me. Say it one more time. Say it, I shall have. I shall have. Oh, what I decree. I decree. Yes, I believe, yes. I believe. It belongs to me. Oh, so I'm gonna speak it to the atmosphere. Whatever it is, yes, I prophesy now. 
Arango deshke megedonka Mesuba babantos koma Speak into the atmosphere Subscribe in the mobile app oh, for multi-track worship music speak it to your the atmosphere. today. Speak it to the atmosphere, yeah. Oh Lord, speak it to the atmosphere. Speak it to the atmosphere. Speak. Open up your mouth. Open up your mouth. Open up your mouth and open up your mouth and open up your mouth. Open up your mouth and say, Declare it. Declare it. Oh, declare it. It's the prophetic song. Oh, declare it. Over your house, yeah. Over your body. Over your children tonight and say it's mine. It is mine. It's mine, yes. My joy, yes. I am taking my life by the throat. My peace is mine. My health is mine. My money is mine. Say yes. I agree. Say yes, yes. I agree, yeah. I agree, yeah. You shall have it. You shall have it. You shall have it. Whatever it is you declare, speak it over your house, over your body, over your children, over your money, over your business. Speak it. Speak it. Oh my, oh yeah, speak it to the atmosphere, either to you have not prayed, seek and ye shall find, knock and the door shall be open, speak, heaven shall hear. Shall Subscribe have. in the mobile app for multi-track worship music for your what ministry today. I decree. I decree. Yes, I believe. yes, I believe. It belongs to me. Belongs to me. So I'm gonna speak the atmosphere. Yeah. Come on, Myron. Come on, Myron. Speak it to the atmosphere. Just one more time. Yeah. Speak it to the atmosphere. Oh, my. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I sure hope. That that is a message that is spoken to many people tonight. In the hearts of many. Father we seal that word. And we decree and declare tonight. In the name that is above every other name. Let men be built up. Let them know the power. That is in their tongue. In the out of the word of God. They can decree a thing. And it shall be given them. It shall become what it is. Because death and life is in the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. They came to you. That next day Peter exclaiming. Master. Behold the tree the fig tree that you cast. Has dried up. Jesus answered and he said. Have faith in God. Have faith in God. Have faith in God. Because you have faith like that of a mustard seed. You shall say to the mountain. He didn't say you shall think. He didn't even say you shall pray. He said you shall say. You shall speak. In other words, out of the crevices of your soul. With the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. The mouth speaketh out. Of, what is it that has filled your heart? What is it? The word that the psalmist declared. Ah, thy word have I hidden in my heart. Not in my mouth. In my heart. In my heart. 
So the rhema has to come out of the word of God out of your mouth. Not just speaking a random scripture and babbling. It's not about babbling. It's not a function of positive confession. No. That you get from empowerment lessons and classes and uh, conferences. I am, not, I am far from talking about that. The word of God is life. I am the way, the truth, and the life. He is the word. Jesus is the word of God. You locate him. The living word. Written becomes Rema. The written logos becomes the spoken. Psalm 82 and verse 5. I have said that ye are gods and all of you are children of the Most High. But ye shall die like men. Why? They know not. Therefore they walk on in darkness. You're going to open up your mouth and begin to say in an example. I refuse to be ignorant. In the days of your visitation. I refuse to be ignorant. In the marketplace. I decree and declare. I will be aware of the visitation of the Lord. Of the stirring up of the spirit of God. For me to enter into marriage. Enter into business. Enter into relationship. I decree and declare. I know now. I will not be ignorant. That is speaking the word of God that has come alive. By revelation you speak. Not quoting a scripture. Many have been taught empowerment and releasing the word of God back to him because it is powerful. That is religious. The word of God that is written is logos. The word of God that makes for life and godliness is spoken. Rema. It has to come out of the crevices of your soul, out of the abundance of the living word that is in your spirit. And then you make decrees and demands to the Holy Ghost. You provide the spirit, yeah. Now we'll open up inside. Fill me up. Fill me up, God. Fill me up, God. Fill me up, God, yes. Fill me up. You better fill me up with the word tonight. I will make, oh Lord, a promise. I'm gonna speak your word. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hey. Arato shale baran kadoni amahana. Miman koden kabaras varade. Siman kaduni aparas talabai. In the name of Jesus. There is a person you're watching me now. Seems to me like there are two of you or. Either there are two women watching me tonight and you really need the intervention of God because the situation that you're facing right now it has no it has never happened like that and this is something to do with a lack of income on top of that many people are looking up to you in your family as a responsible woman so that you can take care of the men of the siblings that have remained. And all round looks like there are no ends that are meeting. Hear the word of the Lord. God is about to make a way where there seemed to be no way in your life. And in the coming month of November, a destiny helper is going to locate not just you, but your entire family. I see and I sense by the Spirit of God. This is someone from Maasai land. That is what I see because I see Manyatas in the Spirit. And there are two of you here. Could be a different person from a different place, but there are two women. Hear ye the word of the Lord. There is a destiny helper that has been sent from heaven. The ministry of destiny helper is about to locate the two women. And the issue is going to be resolved. Yes, you are about to enter into rest. You are about to enter into reprieve. You are about to breathe again. 
Someone is going to write a check to your account. And the account will be that you are dealing with many things that needed a certain amount of money to kickstart and to put a reprieve. God is about to send a destiny helper. I see another thing here in the spirit. There are people here running uh, businesses and as it were companies that need a jacking of the spirit and the breath of the almighty. I speak to every entrepreneur, self-employed, middle uh, 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 income businesses, micro or macro, potential is great. But I speak to every chokehold that has been sent from the pit of hell hitherto. I decree, I stand here and I decree and declare breath of the Almighty. I speak life now. It will become an exceeding great army. It will resurrect now. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I prophesy that in the next 90 days, give it 90 days. Give that entity 90 days. Hear ye the word of the Lord, everybody. Give it 90 days. There is coming rain that is about to resurrect every dead dream in that company. Every dead dream, every dead client that has gone AWOL on people. That has gone on people. A quiet money is owed outside. Checks that have not been written. Yes, invoices never honored. There is a remembrance that is getting sent now. There is a remembrance. There is an imposition of remembrance by the hand of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. It will come to pass. It will come to pass. Quickly, quickly, quickly. An exceeding great army of recovery. Receive everybody. Receive now. It is not time to get individualistic. Receive corporately. That anointing is corporate. That anointing is corporate. Take it for yourself. While I'm speaking, take it for yourself. For your life, for your company. For your business, Katoshi Badang Kadina Maana Katolia. Zebebeben Katosha. Ebaba Sula Maranto Skumalia. There is a recovery. There is a recovery. There is a recovery. There is abundance of rain coming. A mighty army is getting ready to rock. You are about to recover. You are about to look back and look back again. A mighty and exceeding army. Is about to rise up of that, that, that dead situation. Out of that dead situation. Something good. Sweet is coming out of the eater. Yes, something sweet is coming out of the eater. Whatsoever that has been eating your peace. You are about to enter into a dimension of rest and sleep. And the peace of God is going to reign supreme. I speak life to every dead situation. I prophesy life to every dead situation. I prophesy life to every dead situation. In the mighty name of Jesus, that which the Lord has not killed, that which the Lord has not given you as a burden, you are carrying someone else's burden. His burden is light, his yoke is easy. If it ain't easy, if it is not light, it is a demonic burden. Check whoever burden it is that you are carrying. My burdens are light and my yoke is easy. The Bible declares so. I speak to every person carrying a burden that is not yours. That demonic entity that has sat in your father's house. That makes men to carry burdens unnecessarily in life. A baggage of emotion. A baggage of mental torment. A baggage of relativism. A baggage of things. You will come into a dimension of doing things at on ease. At ease now. Many things at ease. Several projects at ease. Many things at ease. I command the burdens that you are carrying that are not yours. I command in the name of Jesus. Of Lord now. Of Lord now. Of Lord now. Of Lord now. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I deliver you from every spirit of the donkey from every spirit of the donkey from every spirit of the slave I command the son of the bond woman I command the spirit of the son of the bond woman to come out of Zion come out of God's people come out of the body in the mighty name of Jesus be free now carry the burdens of the Lord that are light and easy 
on your way to destiny on your way to destiny on your way to fulfilling God's destiny and purpose of God over your life I decree and declare now freedom for every man and woman carrying unnecessary burden I free you now travel light I free you now travel light I free you now travel light in the name of Jesus Oh, 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 I wanna run over, wanna run over, yeah. Magadazina manando koskubara dalia, regedeshke begedon koporodolia tilai. Thank you, Father. That anointing is moving strongly on people tonight. Ah, there is a corporate deliverance and the corporate mantle and the corporate blessing that is coming on many people tonight. You better believe it. Write the night, the night the Lord visited you was this night. You better write it down. You better write it down. And I prophesied as I was commanded. And I prophesied as I was commanded. Lucy, Lady Lucy Kimani, hear ye the word of the Lord. I decree and declare in the name that is above every other name. You and your house, you and your husband will not be relegated. In the times of reward, I decree and declare, you will not be relegated to the back end of the list. Hear the word of the Lord. I speak to your company now and I decree and declare in the name that that same anointing is landing on Bob now. I, I just saw it by the spirit. Is landing on the corporate uh, on the on the on the entity now. And I speak to both of you now in the spirit. I connect the both of you to destiny. And I decree and declare no more relegation. I prophesy speed now. Speed, 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 speed and recovery. Quickly. In the name of Jesus. Lucy, you're about to begin to see signs because a phone call is getting ready to come to you. A phone call is getting ready to come to you. That phone is going to buzz until you have a headache. Yes, you better get an earpiece because that if you don't have one in the car, you better get a good one because there is a phone, phone call that's going to get to buzz on your ear. As it begins that, that, and they will all hear this word. Hear the term, hear the term, hear the term. I hear by the spirit that is there all, all those potential phone calls that are always in the potential. They're all going to turn over. They're all going to be turned over. Malakose barankotelia. Mazumba das kutate kata katilia gadale. Meluvara no skina. Bob, hear ye the word of the Lord. Because thou hast chosen to honor me. That is the Lord speaking now, not me. Thou shalt be honored. Thy faith shall be honored. And you are about to witness that same anointing that is of speed and recovery. I hear by the Spirit of God that he is writing off. He is writing off shame, pain, sorrow, and the past four things and is giving you a blank check now Bob that in the name that is above every other name there is a covenant that you're about to write with God and he will honor it whether you pray or you don't is a covenant and is a covenant that that, that that anointing that has been sitting on Lucy as it regards financing I see by the spirit of God now like a soya, Double portion is going to come on board. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I am I am in the family now. I'm in the family, so you pay, pay attention. Bear with me. The Spirit of the Lord just routed me to that, to, to that house. Elijah said, Oh, my father, my father, the chariots of Israel and the horsemen thereof. Elijah said, If you see me go, you shall have the double portion. 
Bob, hear the word of the Lord. That oil is coming on you and it is glittery, is on your forehead now. By the realm of the spirit, that was I see is golden, is on your head. Hear ye the word of the Lord. That fireplace is getting ready to be fired up by the hand of God. It's getting ready to be fired up. There will be no space downstairs, upstairs. There will be no space. Masuka paratosh kabarantalia. Lady Bikosh Kanama Anakatalia. Men that have hardly known you shall glide and shall incline themselves, whether by website, whether physically, and they will kill there. They shall submit themselves with pieces of silver. That is the word of the Lord to you, Bob, and to Alex together. Oh, I put my trust in you. You know, yeah, just what to do. You come on, 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 oh, Lord, I put my trust in you. Hey, only you, yeah, yes, only you, oh, yes, only you. You that I trust. Hallelujah. 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 The presence of God is heavy here. The presence of God is heavy. I would like us to take an offering now while that anointing is moving very strongly. Very strongly now. Get a, a prophetic offering. Notice, I didn't say a seed. Don't misquote this prophet. It's intentional. I am in the spirit now. And I will not blabber anything. Get a prophetic offering. Tap into the frequency of God now. Anything is possible to them that believe. Not to those who doubt and reason. Not to those who look to their situation. Elijah come. He came to the woman of Zarephath and he said, Give me to eat first. Every economic uh, uh, balancing of that equation was not balancing. It was selfish of Elijah to come to a poor woman left by the husband dead long time ago and ask for the last meal and to be fed the fast. Yet, it was the prophetic. Get a prophetic offering. Get it out. You are about to witness a great and a mighty army that is going to rise up out of the coffers of your finance. Many of you here, your prayers would be answered by now. You would be praying for nations. You would be praying for your family. You would be praying for the nation. You have no time praying and interceding and getting into a mountain and to fast because of a lot of issues around your finance. Choking your spirituality. I decree and declare by the hand of God that which is flowing now in the atmosphere and guarding this ministry is coming to you. You will never suffer shame. You're not going to have a bill that is going to pend. I decree and declare. Enter into prepared blessing. Enter as you give now. Enter into prepared blessing. By your sacrifice. By your prophetic offering. Enter into prepared blessing. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let there be intercession. And intercepting of men and women here. Lord, surprise their account, surprise their empire, surprise their businesses. Let there be a mouth, the word of the mouth of the prophet never go to the ground. It will not fall to the ground. It will not come out empty. Surprise men and women now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I put my trust in you. Oh, oh, oh. only you. Only you. I and the first lady, in the day that we were about to be, to be married, we are looking right, left, and center, and we knew that we're not going to have a crusade for a wedding. We knew. That's a word for a young girl and for a young man there. We knew by decision and by will and by design, we are not going to have a crusade for a wedding. And for that fact, we knew also that we're not going to have to ask and to get a pre-wedding thing going on. 
we knew by faith that we are going to have to put up our, uh, our level and a dimension. That if the word of God is true to us, it can be true to others. If he did it before to others, it can do to us. We took up seed together. And we went to a man of God in a conference that we were in. And we, we borrowed. We borrowed the seed. Did you hear that? Yes, ma'am. Don't try that if you have not that, that level of faith. Just stay on your level. But I came to challenge you. We borrowed the seed that we were given. It was too much that time. Too much. We could use that for an account to settle in the days of our wedding. And it was coming up ahead. We painfully gave that seed. Well, if I show you the photos, and if you were there, you would know the glory of God was in that wedding. It was an invite only. One. Number two, there were several levels of chopping life, if you understand my language. Men chopped life in that wedding. They carried food. They, they, there was an increase of the many things that we needed. We were proud of God and proud that our faith brought us there. And that is just one testimony of many that I can give you. The fact is that I don't like talking about myself until I feel the release of the Spirit. Hear me? Hear the word of the Lord. Step out of the equation. Get out of the thinking sana. Thinking too much. Yeah. Use your spirit, the spirit of God that has been born again and shed abroad to your heart. And take a risk and see the Lord go ahead of you. See the Lord go ahead of you. I can tell you many things, many stories, sir. Many stories, ma'am. That are connected to sacrifice and to giving. I didn't say prayer. I didn't say fasting. I know you're a fasting machine and you're an intercessor woman. I know. I'm not talking about that. That's a dimension. But money and prosperity does not answer to prayer. Wealth and prosperity does not answer to prayer. You will pray and God will give you an instruction. While you're obeying that ordinance, wealth come. Money will answer. You will stay, you will choke yourself hoarse with a prayer. Give me money. No, money is not to be given. The spirit that underguards money in the realm of the spirit is not a, a spirit to pray to. No, it's a spirit to obey. The ordinance that guns wealth, and I'm going to teach this when God releases me. So you can pray your way horse. Remain broke and a prayer warrior for that matter. There are things that must be done that you should know by the word of God that will incline you to be giving thanks all the days of your life. Because you have no, not really, you have no bill that is choking your neck that you can't pray all night. No, you can go seven days dry fasting and your fridge is full, your car tank is full, the house has been paid or you have built the building and you own it. The company is doing well and you can go seven days and seek the Lord, not for the bills. You are praying for the nation. You are praying for self-elections. You are praying for the generation that is coming in your belly or the grandchildren. You are in priesthood at rest or priesthood in rest. Many people have to be vetted when they enter the prayer room because it is their issue that brought them there. It's their issue. Not having fellowship and koinonia with the Spirit of God, no sir. It's their issue that brought them there. Sir, can these bones leave? Yes sir, they can. Yes sir, you can recover. Yes, sir, you can be employed. Yes, sir, you can go abroad. Yes, sir, you can own your own business. Yes, ma'am, you can be married on time. On time, sir. On time, debt free. I put my trust in you. 
We don't preach that which we don't practice. John said that which we have handled, that which our eyes have seen, that which our ears have heard, that which our hearts, our hands have handled, yeah, of the word of life. That is what we speak. That is what we speak. We've seen this God do mighty things and crazy things that if we are told you, you will not believe. You won't believe been through trials and temptation through tears and pain through the process to get to where we are now even as a ministry and you've been through the same different things to where you are now with your relationship with God God is not a mocker he ain't a human being that he will lie he will bring you out the glory that is about to be seen in your life ah uh, no eye has seen no ear has heard you didn't go through fire and pain so that you can just be looking like fire and pain. No, sir. You're about to witness a change of your value system. Change of your, uh, of your spiritual senses. Change of your lifestyle. You will not look like that village. You are gonna, you're not going to look like you burnt in the, in, the, in the business. You're not going to look like you lost in the business. You're not going to look like that loss. You ain't going to look like that divorce. No, sir. No, ma'am. God is about to beautify you. God is about to beautify. God is about to beautify. Amen and amen. Glory to God. Oh. Father, we thank you for tonight. I sense a ventilation. And the spirit of the Lord wants you to know. Whoever I have not spoken to here, it is settled. The word of the Lord in my mouth is poison. I don't really have to pick you individually. No. That atmosphere has already settled in. Whatever it is that is in your heart that you came with. Tap into the frequency that is the presence of God. Find out if that pain is still there. It is gone. Find out if that pain on the joint is there. That back issue. That migraine, it is gone. Gone already. That matter is settled. That matter is settled. Hear the word of the Lord. That matter is settled. In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen and amen. Glory to God. And I will trust in you with all of my heart, mm, with all of my heart. We're about to pray our last prayer. Yes. Mm, I won't live to my own, yeah. Understanding, if I put my mind stayed on you, I know, I know, I know you'll see me through you that I trust. What is it that you trust? Him. Not my wisdom, no, 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 not my knowledge, you that I trust, you that I trust, he's so sweet to trust in you. If you're here, you're running a law firm. If Sharon is here and another council, if you're running a law firm, I speak to the law firm to resurrect in the name of the law. And I decree and declare, let it rain there. Every form of dryness on men and women practicing as advocates and law, attorney at law, let there be a resurrection. Let there be a resurrection. Let there be a demand on the clientele in the name of Jesus. 
in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It is so. You that I trust, yeah. Not my wisdom. Oh yes, not my knowledge. You that I trust. Hallelujah. You that I trust. Not my reason. Not my reason. No, no, no. Not my judgment. You that I trust. Hallelujah. You that I trust. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Men and women involved in litigation. In litigation, the hand of God is sitting on you now. There will be a recovery. All that dry spell of clientele. Not coming through, no, no cases. Nothing to deal. No incorporation of companies. No anything economical and viable going on. We cast it from the root now. And we command the tree to rise up again. The seed to rise up again in the name of Jesus. 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 So shall it be. So shall it be. Jesus mighty name. Well. I'm going to pray now. Father in the name that is above every other name. We've listened to that word. We thank you father for the ministry of the world that has brought out faith. And many have been built up in their most holy faith. Tonight from East Africa Kenya. We speak to the nation. We speak to the nation. We speak to the nations of the world. We speak to the atmosphere where we are in. Come alive. Come alive. Let this nation accept you. Let the ground, the earth, accept you. Open up to your possibility. Your feet are not cast. Your hands are not cast. We decree and declare. Let that city open up to you. Let that country open up to you. Let that city open up to you. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now I would like you to pay attention for a few minutes now. This nation needs prayer, the nation of Kenya. And so does the United States in this critical hour. The U.S. are going to get ready to get into uh, uh, elections in a few days from now. And... Uh, the country that is called Kenya where we are, we are about to get an announcement as it regards the report, the BBI. And the politics are already heated up as you know. We need to take care of this beast that is, go that is about to get ready to ride, to ride over our heads. To ride over our heads. I want you to pay attention. What you're about to witness now is already stuff that we've already prophesied here many, many times. But I'd like you to, to get a caution. And the caution is this. As it regards your party, if you have one, or any inclination you have towards any party, I want you to be neutral in your prayer. And pray. And pray. Pray not only for the peace of this country and of this city, but pray that there will be no shed of blood of innocent people. Of innocent people. Because that blood will cry out for justice. And there will be no election. Did you hear that? Yeah, I am sure people have post-election violence. I just gave you a clue, prophetically speaking. I'm not talking about post. No. No. I am prophesying now and I'm telling you, get on your knees and let's pray towards the 2022 election. Because the violence that I see in the spirit is not coming post, it's coming pre. We need to cast out that beast that wants to ride over our head. To make us look exactly like the way Africans have been described. Protracted anytime there is an election. 
or any time the views are different, protracted, is a demonic agenda that wants to fester in the heart of young people and in the heart of politicians. That is number one. You need to pay attention and pray. There will be no violence in my city, in my country. We cast out the beast that wants to ride over our head. We command the hand of God to override. We override the plan of the enemy. That's how you pray. That's how you pray. Every day. Every day. Number two, there is getting ready to be a politician that is about to pass on, to die. It's going to be breaking news here in the country of Kenya. I'm not going to mention names. I am wiser now. I'm wiser now. I know. Because they, 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 there will be issues. By the politician that is known. And is going to be breaking news. And actually that breaking news is going to come out of citizen television first. And then NTV and then KTM. We need to pray for their life to be committed to God. Otherwise they will still burst hell open. And the death of a politician is coming, is, is, is around the corner. It's a, it's, it's, it's a message. It's, it's not really something that is just death because, no, it's a message. Is a message. And we need to pray not only for extension of life, but for their salvation. For their salvation. As it regards the U.S. of A. Heidi, uh, Heidi together with Apostle Chris and Sam and the family there. You need to pray as it regards the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court. I see an agitation after the November 2nd election. Men are going to head to the Supreme Court and want to square it out there. And there is a lot of protestation, if you may. Yes, that is going to head up to that square. This is Earth Tone Music Production. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I don't know what is this uh, Heidi I see in the spirit. There's something that, that is not good on Kamala Harris. And it is not something to celebrate at all about. But it seems to me that um, something is going to come out in the next coming days. Uh, uh, even after the election. About Kamala and her health. She needs to be restored to good health by the hand of God. And also Nancy Pelosi that is about to getting a scare. I see ambulance. I see an ambulance uh, getting ready to come into the residence of the speaker. There are many things that are going to happen after the election. And it seems to me that the hand of God will be handpicking some uh, judgment as it was a message that is going to be passed on several people that have had the handiwork by the spirit of Jezebel to control and to castigate and to put the nation at ease at some place and time only you yeah Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is news about Rihanna, the musician, that is going to hit the headlines internationally. There is news about Rihanna that is about to hit the headlines internationally everywhere. Rihanna, watch, watch that name and watch that personality. Hallelujah. Glory to God. <coughs> the agitation, I'm suddenly in Nigeria, the, the agitation for 
uh, reforms out of the Nigerian uh, constituency, if you may, of the country. It's going to heat up a little bit high note. And uh, Buhari, the president, is about to make an address. I see an address out of out of um, there is an address that is about to make out of the house uh, Asorok out of Asorok there is an address that is about to make out of Asorok. Yeah, they're, they're going to implement something there that is not going to be completely um, what the protest is for. And it is not about SARS only, the, the thing that is trending now. No, it is an overwhelming report card to the government that there are reforms that are needed. They will begin with that, yes. But there is more coming. The hand of God is on this thing as it regards Nigeria. The hand of God is on it. I'm not going to say more, much more regarding uh, the President Buhari. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to say something I'm not released yet to say. Hallelujah. Pray for former President Kibaki. Yeah, pray for him. There is something that is going to come in the news again. From the family. Might be very private, but something that is going to come out of um, the Kibakis. Out of the Kibakis. Because while I saw Buhari, I just saw Kibaki. And I'm not going to say more than that for now. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes, Lord. Put my trust in you. Only you. Only you, you, you. You that I trust, hallelujah. We are called into inter, uh, into priesthood. That is what the church, that is why the church is the salt of the earth. Not the sugar. No, the salt. So we need to preserve life and legacies. Those that are correct and lead us and, 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 and pre we, are the, we are the life giver to the nation. Without us, the nation cannot stand. Neither the government, any government anywhere. Outside of the facility of the church, it will not function. Don't be fooled by China. Just because it's communism and every No, there is a church underground there that is making China look the way it is looking. When God will come to judge China, it will never look like China was any superpower. This is tone it's the church underground that is putting China on the map. Not just their prowess and their intellect. No, sir. No, their philosophy. No, sir. That's a lie. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. I will leave that for today. I will leave that for tonight. May God bless each and every one of you. Have a powerful, powerful night. We love you to life. We are meeting on Wednesday. Uh, uh, service at night. At nine. Let us meet on Wednesday. There is a powerful one that is going to come your way. That is going to change your life. It's going to change your life. Good night everybody. For those of you still giving, you can give after this website. The website is there www.johnhagai.com stroke give. You can go there and give however you are where, uh, wherever you are in on the earth. There is a possibility for you to tap into the frequency. We love you to life. Good night everybody. we we'll see you on Wednesday. Amen. Oh Lord, I put my trust in you. You know just what to do. Oh Lord, I put my trust, I put my trust in you. Only you, yeah, yeah. Only you, only you, you that I try, you that I try. 
Amen and amen and amen. Good night, everybody. We will see you Wednesday, same time. Amen. We will pass all your greetings to First Lady. We appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for joining us. Let us keep on growing. Amen.